And we're working on a, a Nintendo DSi that won't read games. Um, you can see it is all messed up. It's kind of pulled up from the board um, here. So, you know, there, there's a bunch of pins that are broken on inside of here, so we have to replace this unit. Um, it's got a trace missing actually right here. It's been pulled up in a trace right here. Um, the pads are still there, so we're kind of just going to lay the pads back down uh, over top that were pulled up. Um, on the back side here, um, you can see there's a lot of pins. I'm not really sure I haven't counted. There's another pin over here. And there's two front pegs um, that all need to be desoldered. So I'm going to start on the back. I'm going to put some solder down here. The front side and everything has uh, already been pulled up. Um, and that was just due to the <laughs> customer. Um, but hopefully we can uh, salvage what we got here and uh, go ahead and finish this, finish this off. Very hot. Right. See, some of these traces are kind of pulled up, so what I'm going to do is kind of just heat this board back up and set these back down. Kind of push them back down. All right, so you can see that we're missing a trace here, and we're missing a trace here. Uh, the one trace right here is actually still on. Um, here, if you can see, let's see if this thing will zoom in. That's right here. So I'm going to go and take this off. Literally taking the pad, I'm going to lay it right back down. Okay, perfect. Mm. So here's our new board. Um, as you can see, there are two spots that actually sit down in the board, which are up front here. 
these right here, we need to actually put saw. I mean, put a wick, uh, wicking over it. So if I can grab my wick, here's my wick. Alright, and so I'm gonna take a little bit of flux. I'm gonna put it here. I'm gonna take a little bit of flux and put it there. And then now I'm gonna take this wick and actually put it over top of here. I'm gonna grab a thicker tip soldering iron. Uh, definitely want to use something that's got some surface area here to really suck that solder out of the hole. So you definitely want a clean spot to work with. Uh, so right here. Alright, so let's see how this sits down in there. Okay, so that side on the right sits really well. Side on the left sits good. Alright, and so basically what we gotta do now is solder this thing back down. Music playing in the background is uh, by a band named Stereo Cult. It is a friend of mine, so there are no copyright issues, by the way. So anybody tries to say anything about copyright, the music in the background is by Stereo Cult. They're out of uh, California now. They originally, originally started from a couple other bands out in uh, Virginia Beach area. Okay. So I'm going to take it and I'm going to hit this point first. Go ahead and get this solder around here. Correct. Alright, so that side's down. Excuse the shake in there. Remove the camera so it's a little bit better. What's going on? Okay, there's another side to hit it from right here. Excuse my finger being in the way. Right. So on the back end, do these one by one. solder in here. This part's a little tedious, but it's not too hard because it's pretty big uh, traces. You don't need really a microscope to do this because they are so large, which is nice. So make sure you use plenty of solder here. Um, they're just really easy to do, so you might as well use a bunch of solder and, and make sure Make sure you got a happy customer at the end of the day and they don't have to come back. You can see there I crossed over onto two pads. Been doing this for a long time and it still happens when I'm trying to race through stuff like I am now. But all you gotta do is take, a, take this little thing in here. Gone.
getting there getting very close guys See, I think just need a little bit more. Alright, I'm going to flip the board over real quick. I'm going to do these two. See these two spots right here. This needs to be soldered and this needs to be soldered. And then we're done. Just add a little bit of flux extra on there from earlier, so don't need to put too much more. And I'm just gonna hold it like this, almost like a clamp, make sure it gets nice and tight. And I'm just put my solder tip on there. Make sure you do have a little bit of solder on there. So that one looks good. I'm gonna go ahead and do this next one. Okay. So they both look good. Alright. So everything looks good on here, all the pins are touching. Um, this thing is definitely ready. I'm gonna scrub it off. Scrub it off real quick with some alcohol. I'll show you. It looks like right, there you go my friends that was a uh, I mean I haven't tested it yet but it's 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 gonna be successful so successful DSI charger port or uh, disc reader thank you so much have a great day